words leave me as soon as the recording device comes on. Hey everybody, Luxenda Swirl here. New day, new cut project. <laughs> we are going to work on a new style of mica hull, which is my little combo name for micas mixed in alcohol. Smoosh that all together, you get mica hull. That's what I call them. Mica hulls I've worked with in the past have been plain mica colors on a white cup. and then color shifting or chameleon micas on a black cup because that brings out the color shift. I am using a black cup, although these are not color shifting micas. These are vivid holographic micas. These are all from Island Micas and more. I refer to them and use them frequently in uh, when I dust molds before I pour resin in. They're called vivid hollows and I have 11 of them, I believe. And I will just run through them real quick. Rose gold, forest jade, peridot, silver, teal, which is of course my favorite, <laughs> periwinkle, toasted coconut, gold, steel, and onyx. So those are the 11 colors we're working with. I have mixed up those 11 micas with some alcohol. This is 99.5% isopropyl alcohol. I bought it off Amazon. 91% will probably work just fine. If you if you have that, go for it. I bought these little bottles off of Amazon. I will link to everything below, the turner, the cup, the micas, everything. And I put in two scoops. I use these little coffee stir things. Two heaping scoops of these, Vivid Hollow, into a bottle and then I added four pipettes, these disposable pipettes, and they go up to three milliliters each. So uh, that would make about 12 milliliters of the alcohol in with the two scoops of the micas. Got them in a bottle, I'm gonna shake them up. We're gonna drop them on resin that I'm gonna put on the cup. I'll put on clear KS liquid stone, ultra UV, drop on the mica hulls, hit it with some heat, let it spin. We'll see what we get. It's just a new kind of mica that I'm testing out as a, a droppable liquid instead of brushing it on or mixing it into the resin. We're just gonna drop it on using alcohol. Hopefully I'll be able to edit that into something that you'll actually understand. Words leave me as soon as the recording device comes on, which is also called a camera. I feel so old. Anyway, I'm gonna mix up some KS Liquid Stone. I am going to put it on here. We are gonna drop on our mica hulls that are vivid holographic. I hit it with some heat and see what we get. So sit back and enjoy the show. And we're back. 
I've been trying to think of what I want to do with this next. It doesn't scream Galaxy Cup to me the way that color shifting ones, but even though I hit it with a bunch of heat and tilted it and everything, these mica hull drops stayed kind of to themselves. There's some movement going on here. This makes me think of two different things. It makes me think of a whole bunch of little swatches of eye makeup, and the reason it makes me think that is because eyeshadow is just mica powder. If somebody took a black cup and a big palette of different eyeshadow colors and swatched them on, that would be something akin to this. And these colors are all sort of pastel-y. So the other thing it made me think of, believe it or not, is Easter eggs. <laughs> Very strangely shaped holographic Easter eggs, but nonetheless, little pastel blobs of Easter eggs. So I'm going to go with the Easter theme since that's coming. Easter's on the way. Ostara's on the way. So I'm going to find a good place, and I'm going back to the same artist who did the gnomes on the green cup and birdies and the mom decal on the aqua cup. Links to those videos are in the description area below. And I am going to use her Easter squad graphic, which is these four adorable pastel Easter bunnies. I think that will work really well on this cup. So this is my Nito brand printable vinyl. Oh, not too bad. I'm gonna have to do a little weeding, but we'll get it on the cup first. So I have my bunnies and they're very cute. And I'll put them right about there. There we go. Cute little bunnies. And I'll get my pick. And it's just, I think it's just this big one here has to come out. There we go. There. Easter. The Easter Bunny Squad. There is a saying that she had she has two of these graphics in the same file. They both feature the bunnies, and one has Easter Bunny Squad in words underneath. I opted to go with just the bunnies because I think it's pretty self-explanatory. However, I want to put something on the bottom and she has this other adorable, uh, these are Valentine's bunnies, but you know, they're bunnies. So I'm just going to see if I can get this one with the heart. He lost a few whiskers in the process, but I don't think that matters. And I'm going to put him right there. Isn't he cute? A not a very complicated cup. I didn't know how the background was going to turn out. I love how it looks. If anybody's interested in seeing me do this same mica haul with holographic, the Vivid Hollow Micas on a white cup, let me know down in the comment section. That would be great. I'd love to try it. So the next thing that happens is I put some UV resin over the, the printable vinyl just to hold it in place, tack everything down, put a layer of epoxy resin over the whole cup. I will probably put Marabou Rainbow Alcohol ink into the layer of resin just because that way these guys will sparkle as well. And I'll bring you back, but we'll have some sort of ending where you see the finished cup. 